This is American Airlines 777-200 Economy Class in 2023. This flight takes us from London Heathrow over to Miami in Florida. Make sure to stick around to the end of this video to find out exactly how much it costs and so you can see everything the Economy Class offers. London Heathrow has hundreds of airbridge stands. However, of course, our flight was departing from a remote stand, therefore we had to get a bus to the plane. Thanks to my One World status, we were in group number three, so we had priority boarding and we could get on one of the first buses from here to the plane. It was the usual miserable London weather and this just did not make it a nice experience having to go outside, board a bus and then get off the bus and board the aircraft. The one great advantage of boarding from a bus to, at a remote stand is the views you get of the airplane when you're walking up the steps. You never normally see a wide body jet like this as you would normally always be boarding from an airbridge. This American Airlines 777-200 was in a three class configuration with business class here at the front, premium economy class just behind business in a nice small cabin and then we had economy class in a 343 layout. Our seats for this 9 hour flight over to Miami were in the rear section of economy right at the front on an exit row. Again we were able to choose these seats free of charge thanks to our one world status. And now for our seats. When you arrived at the seat, they had a pillow and a blanket waiting for you. These items are always a great touch on a long transatlantic flight. Now for the seat itself. Just underneath the seat, there was a power socket. And in the armrest on the side, as this was an exit row, it has the IFE remote control. Also in this armrest is where the tray table is located. You can have the tray table open like this for a drink and a snack, or you can open it all the way for your meal. And again, because this is an exit, inside of the armrest is where the IFE monitor is located. In a standard economy seat, they would be located on this, the back of the seat in front of you. We will come back to the IFE screen later in the flight. Just on the left hand side, there is a small cubby hole where you can keep some of your personal belongings. And as you can see here, there is almost unlimited leg room. The seat is also fitted with a nice adjustable headrest, which gives you good support if you want to go to sleep. As I said, this seat does not have a window, but I'm happy to sacrifice that for the unlimited legroom. When you're in the recline position, you can see out the window behind you, which does give you a good view when you're in flight. And there is also a window on the exit just in front of you. It was now time to watch the safety demonstration and then taxi to the runway for takeoff to Miami. This was an exciting flight for us as it was our first long haul flight since before the pandemic, which really just does excite me as it means you're going to a nice far off place. Very shortly after takeoff, the cabin crew started the in flight service. First off, we were given our in flight meal. 
when you're taking a long haul flight in economy, especially on American Airlines or any of the US airlines, you need to keep your expectations rather low for the catering. However, this was a decent meal. We had a salad for start. I chose the chicken for the main. There was also a vegetarian pasta dish on offer. Also on the tray with the chicken, once I eventually get it open. There was also a bread roll which was terrible, a nice chocolate coconut cake which was okay and a packet of Nairn's fruit and seed oat cakes along with some spreadable cheese to go on them. There was also a bottle of water on the tray, however straight after they served us the meal they came around with the drinks trolley. In economy you get one free alcoholic beverage with your meal or they were given out on this flight that's for sure. The meal in the end was really good, however, like I say, the bread was really poor, the chocolate cake was okay. All in all, for the expectations I set for economy food, it definitely passed. Now we're going to check out the in-flight entertainment. American Airlines hand out these really basic headphones shortly after takeoff, however, they do the job. But if you do have your own headphones with an aux cord, then that is definitely the best way to enjoy the in-flight entertainment. If I'm being honest, there was a really good selection of movies from new releases all the way through to old classics and box set movies. You really can't complain on this nine hour flight, there was so many options, you would definitely find something for your liking. There was also a massive array of TV shows and also games on the screen which you could play by yourself or play with someone else on the plane. The map on American Airlines was rather slow at loading up, however when it did load up it was decent enough and gave a good information as well as the graphics you see. The in-flight entertainment also had a section where you could check out all the different beverages that they had on board the flight, so it meant that by the time the cabin crew came around to take an order, you would know exactly what you wanted and also exactly what they had, so you didn't have to ask them for loads of different things and then tell them that they didn't have it. A few hours into the flight and a good couple of hours after the meal service, the cab crew came round with this chocolate ice cream. It was now time to sit back, relax and try and watch a movie to make this 9 hour flight go as fast as possible. Just a while before landing in Miami, the crew came round with a snack. This snack was a chicken mayonnaise sandwich and a small lemon muffin. It really wasn't much, but it was fine just before landing into Miami. And just like that, the nine hours was up and it was time to land into a beautiful sunny Miami. And finally, in my opinion, American Airlines economy class in 2023 is pretty decent. The food was decent, the seat was really good, the entertainment system was really good, and all in all, the flight was decent enough considering it was economy. This flight was part of a larger booking from Inverness in Scotland down to London then out to Miami and the same in return. The full booking cost £432 per person which in my opinion is extremely good value for a transatlantic crossing and a domestic leg within the UK. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for loads more videos and also give this one a like. Next week's video will be coming from a much more exotic location, so make sure to come back next Sunday and check that one out.